So this is uh, the kind of question where you can actually answer it. Um, I think a hint will tell you this. You can answer this um, without looking up any uh, information. So I think when people uh, look, see something like this very often, the first instinct is to, I don't know, look it up or, you know, look up. Uh, what is the you know google search uh what is the farthest distance from venus to earth um and i guess when you do that you might be able to find the answer so i guess don't knocking on that method all the time but if you read it think about it carefully then you can actually answer this without any other references and i'm pretty sure that's what hint is referring to yeah so hint is telling you how you can do that <laughs> since uh, i'm on video right now with the ability to draw things on screen let me uh let me do that so so i want you to uh, so this is a very common advice we give to physics students and i think it's the same advice applies to astronomy students and maybe it's even science and math in general. Um, when you read a question, it helps to diagram it because in diagramming it, you will um, make sure that you um, represent all the information you know. And in looking at the diagram, you might realize something that you already knew, but maybe didn't know that you knew. So it's talking about orbit of Venus and Earth. So let me draw them. Um, so my, from my having memorized the order of the planets, I do know Venus is in the inner of the Earth orbit. So let me draw the Venus orbit first, and I will draw the Earth's orbit uh, outside of the Venus orbit. And one th thing that I know that and, and utilizing is the fact that is the fact that I know Venus and Earth are in roughly circular orbit with the sun at more or less at the center. I know Kepler's first law says that it's elliptical orbit and yes it's technically elliptical but it's close enough to circle that we can say it's a circular uh, close enough for our purposes. So that's a Venus orbit. Let me draw the Earth orbit. So let me draw Earth for um, what it, uh, what the the question refers to, the nearest. So as you look at these two circular orbits, you can see uh, how they should be arranged when they are nearest. When they are nearest, uh, Earth and Venus should be on the same side of the Sun, and. Um, the information that the question is giving you that at the nearest, the Venus comes within this distance of Earth. So it's telling you what this distance is, 0 0.28 astronomical unit. And um, so I guess uh, looking at this figure for a while, uh, trying to think about when it's uh, farthest, I hope you recognize then the Venus and Earth are farthest when they are on the opposite sides of the sun. So when Earth is over here, um, in kind of relative terms, you know, Venus is on one side and Earth is on the other side, that's when they will be farthest. So the question is asking you for this distance here. And having labeled that, I hope you remember how we define astronomical unit astronomical unit is defined so that it's the radius of this circle, the average distance from the sun to earth. And looking at this figure, you can see that, okay, so this distance here should be one AU. And I, so it comes down to a matter of figuring out this distance here and having drawn this line, I said, oh, I know the distance of this whole thing. This whole thing should be one AU. So if I subtract 0 0.28 AU, that should give me this distance or um, let me try to do that in my head. 
that should be um, 0 0.72 AU. So the distance from Earth to Venus is one plus 0 0.72 or 1.72 astronomical unit. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean. Um, this is a kind of question where if you take the time to think through, maybe draw a figure to help you think through it, then you can just uh, answer it based on that. You don't need anyone to tell you any, any more information. 